Hey guys, what's going on? It is Justin here, and this video is actually a little bit off the cuff. I just got done walking the, my dog, and I think that's just when I tend to do my best thinking, and I was thinking about some of my past experiences around health and fitness and nutrition. For those of, that, of, of you that don't know me, um, for like 10 years I struggled with binge eating, uh, overeating episodes, and it was a little bit different than from, I think, maybe what some other people s struggle with, but also um, similar to what some other people struggle with. Is it for me? It was rooted in like perfectionism. I felt like I needed to eat perfect all the time, and everything needed to be "quote unquote" clean eating, whatever that means. Um, and when I wasn't eating that that way, I felt like a failure, and everything was ruined. And it led to me just feeling the need, like, well, I've already ruined everything. I might as well continue doing con continue doing this, and start all over on Monday and I'll, and I was always telling myself in my head I'll never eat these foods again so I might as well completely enjoy them now um, because I'll never have them again and I'll just uh, you know I'll just start fresh on Monday but anyhow I wanted to share a couple things that really helped me work through that um, one was I started working with uh, a coach I was I, I felt a lot of like shame and embarrassment around the binge eating and the overeating, um, I couldn't understand why I didn't have enough willpower not to do it, um, why I didn't have enough discipline to do it, and I was uh, embarrassed and ashamed that it was something that I was doing on my own. And working with a coach, finding someone that listened to me and that I was able to share these challenges and struggles with, uh, that allowed me to be like vulnerable with them and to express what I was thinking and feeling during these times and going through um, was really, really helpful and beneficial for me. I worked with them for a year. And it's one of the reasons that led me to dive deeper into nutrition and nutrition coaching work. Um, and I'm really glad that I've done that and, and been able to work with people in the same capacity uh, moving forward as well, too. Um, the second one thing that uh, that helped me quite a bit, and it sounds a little bit ass backwards, is was enjoying some of those foods I considered off-plan foods, treat foods, cheat foods, whatever we tend to, tend to call them, was actually including something um, like that as part of my daily day. It's part of my routine. I plan to actually enjoy these foods. Um, I, whether it was in the morning, afternoon, um, with dinner, I found I enjoyed really having them um, after dinner. I sat down with them. I ate them slowly. I savored the taste. I ate them mindfully. I paid attention to how it felt in my mouth, how, what it tasted like, what it smelled like. Um, and at first it was a little scary because I was like, I mean, if I'm giving my pers myself permission to eat these foods, aren't I just going to eat so much of them? And at first it kind of felt like that. And maybe I was actually eating a little bit more of them than I would have liked. But then I started to realize that I was allowed to have these foods and I could actually eat these foods anytime that I wanted to. And they started to become less appealing to me. And I started to notice that I was enjoying them um, less often but without restricting them. And what I mean by that is, I knew I was allowed to eat them and I could eat them anytime I want, wanted to, but I was choosing not to um, at that time, which is a big difference. There's a big difference. And I think that's, that's where we wanna get to, is a place where we know we can eat any and everything that we would like, but having the ability and the confidence to choose when to eat them, um, is, is a big difference. So I help, I hope those two things uh, helped. They really made a big difference for me and I know this video is a little bit off the cuff and kind of raw, but I wanted to send it to you guys because I know um, a lot of us, sometimes when you're going through these struggles, it can feel like you're the only one that's going through them. Um, and I just want to remind you that um, a lot of people have gone through these similar struggles and challenges uh, and you're not alone in them. And uh, hopefully this, this short little video was very helpful for you. So take care and we'll talk to you soon.